So a few people in the comments have asked me about intermittent fasting and what I think about it, and I thought I'd include fasted cardio in this as well because they're both the same concept. Does eating at certain times, at certain frequencies, or does training at certain times of the day, does it affect weight loss or body composition or not? Well, here's my opinion. When you look at any studies involving intermittent fasting, what you'll find is they're all about caloric restriction. Intermittent fasting just makes people eat less because when you only have two feeding windows a day, you can't pack in like 1,000, 1,500 calories or 2,000 calories per meal and people just end up eating less. And as we all know, caloric restriction will end up in weight loss and you can even see improvements on blood markers as well and caloric restriction also makes you restrict the amount of animal foods you're putting into your body as well. So when you see these studies saying, oh look, intermittent fasting and caloric restriction, it improves your health so much. Well, no, it's just because they end up eating less animal foods just because they're eating less overall. Intermittent fasting also apparently increases human growth hormone levels and people say, oh my God, HGH, it'll make you lose weight. Well, no the tiny, tiny, tiny increase in HGH that you might see with intermittent fasting does absolute fuck all. What people don't get is, like, a 10 or 15% boost in HGH won't do jack shit. There's a reason why bodybuilders and all these athletes take more than double the amount of fucking HGH that their body naturally produces. It's because you need that much for it to do anything. A little tiny improvement in HGH from intermittent fasting will have absolutely no metabolic benefit to you. So intermittent fasting, it doesn't really work at all. There's no metabolic benefit. The whole HGH thing, it's a load of bullshit. Um, it's a short-term weight loss method. It's not a long-term solution. You want to eat abundantly. You want to eat when you're hungry. You don't want to do these things where you starve yourself throughout the day and then you become binge prone and you hate your diet and it's not good. You want to eat consistently throughout the day. You want a diet that you can stick to for the rest of your life. So just pick the right foods and exercise and stay consistent and that will cause weight loss and that'll improve your health. Um, Intermittent fasting does nothing. And fasted cardio versus unfasted cardio, which is better? Uh, neither is better. Uh, whichever one you find easier to do is better for you. Some people, when they wake up in the morning, they feel good, they prefer training on an empty stomach, and if you're one of those people, then go do your fasted cardio. Uh, if you'd rather eat and then go train, then do that. Um, what really matters here is that you do the cardio. I think the people who are saying, oh wow, fasted cardio, it made me lose so much weight, I couldn't lose any weight when I was doing unfasted cardio. I think what's going on here is they've just created a routine that they enjoy more and that's easier to follow, so they just end up losing more weight just because they're doing the fucking cardio. And anecdotally for myself, there is no difference between me doing fasted cardio and unfasted cardio. All throughout the summer, I was doing fasted cardio. I'd wake up in the morning and just immediately hop on my bike and go for an hour. And now I get up, I eat, I usually weight train first, and then I do cardio later, and no difference in body composition. So what can I say? Fasted versus unfasted, doesn't matter. Just do your fucking cardio. So I hope you found that advice helpful. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. Keep making those vegan gains. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.